What's up, sexy Samlander Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1. You guys wanted to see a Vulcan game, so we're gonna do it. Of course, we're gonna bring the meatballs because I'm Italian. Um, the reason there was no videos yesterday is just because I was busy. My family, uh, well, I was gonna say my family, but it was my grandmother and my mom. So they were family. It wasn't a lot of them, but I wanted to um, hang out with Shiv and spend time with my family yesterday, so that's why I wasn't able to record. But, um... But yeah, we're doing it today, so it's okay. Third's gonna be good against him. I'm actually just... I'm not gonna go Bancroft immediately, and I'm gonna go for Boots and Bracer. I'm gonna see if I can just out damage him super early. Alright. Let's do it. Oh, also, I saw a ton of comments on the uh, Jormungandr video about Alquang's execute actually being able to kill Jormungandr, but the reason that it did was just a PTS bug, and Hyrez said themselves that um, he's not going to be able to execute Jormungandr. So, in case you were wondering about that, and maybe you thought that I was giving you some false information, uh, it's actually true. No one is going, well, not no one, I guess. Probably Thanatos will be able to, but... Alquang is not going to be able to execute Jormungandr, and whoever said that they would um, was just using a PTS bug to show you something that was wrong. So we got red, he got blue. He's next to me, and that's scary. Is he trying to kill my turret? Get away from me. That way. You can't come this way, can ya? Dork dweeb. Uh. What? Oh. Alright. So I'm actually just gonna alt the wave because he can't clear it. And uh, that's gonna apply a lot of pressure for me. Not to mention he's like really low HP. Maybe we can just grab a, grab a snatch a kill. I don't want him to see me, because then he'll just ult. Oh. Nice. I would have been really disappointed if he got his back off in time, because I thought maybe for a second he was going to get his back off in time. We'll grab this, and we'll start our Bancrofts now that we have finished boots. Uh, I'm assuming he's going Golden Blade. Yeah, he did. I mean, I don't really agree with it. I don't think you need Golden Blade because Arachne, <clears throat> even with Golden Blade, you're not going to be able to contest clear just because it's so bad. So instead of trying to get clear on a god that can't get clear, why not just get a lot of fighting potential on a god with a lot of fighting potential, you know? Why don't you enhance what you have and start instead of trying to get something that you don't, you know? So that's why I don't get Golden Blade on Arachne. When I play Arachne, all I do is go for like first item hasting katana and be a scumbag, basically. That's the way I play Arachne. Um Well, alt and then knock him into it. I lied. But I tried, so it's okay. Oh, all right. Why are you... Oh, God. It's the juicy smell of my meatballs. He actually just said that. Red buff comes up soon. I'm actually just gonna back so I can be full mana for red buff. I'll grab a mana pot. Where's 
It's going pretty well. I mean, it's honestly a really, really hard matchup for Arachne. But getting Golden Blade definitely did not help him. If I was Arachne, I would have gone Blink and rushed Fatalis first item. He's doing his blue. We'll just punch his tower. My goodness, you're dead. <gasps> I think I'm not coming in there. You are dead. Oh, oh he just. Oh, okay. Got him, boys. Alright, grab tower, push wave back, get Bancroft, start breastplate. And then, uh. In 10 seconds, he'll surrender the game, so I don't know why I'm still talking. If he doesn't surrender the game, then this man's got balls of steel. Or he doesn't know that surrender is five minutes. One of the two. I feel like now that he can surrender, I shouldn't kill him anymore, or he will surrender. Like, we should play worse. <laughs> now that he can surrender. <laughs> what do you think? Good idea? Are you bold demon will he surrender? Let's find out. Oh my god, I do so much damage. But why though? Nope. I missed. Okay, actually though, what are you doing? I really thought that was going to kill him. It makes me really uncomfortable that Vulcan says smell my meatballs whenever he presses 3. Can you not walk towards me? Oh. Yes. Yes, you're right. Yes. Is there something you wanted to tell me? Yeah, okay. Or, you know... I was 100% expecting a surrender. I gotta give you props, man. You got balls of steel. To stay in the match. I'm proud of you, Arachne. I'm proud. He's got the late game, man. I mean, he doesn't, but nobody tell him that. If you see this guy in your game, all I want you to say to him is, hey man, props to you. Don't. Hmm. Okay. I mean, he saw an opportunity and he tried to take it. It it might have went a little better had he done damage to me at some point during that. But, eh, minor details. Oh, he's right, okay. Well, I mean, you know, he gave me a video, so I appreciate it. Maybe he was like, you know what, intro's about two minutes, I'll surrender about eight minutes, you know, I'll let him finish his video. Maybe he's a bro. You're a bro, GG man. 267 TP, yeah? I got 11 for that. But it says I got 25 minus 2, which is 23. But it gave me 11. So that's, I mean, you know. I guess that is a thing. 
Okay, so uh, just to make the video 10 minutes, even though it just hit 10 minutes, I want to say if you're playing Arachne and you go against Vulcan, actually, no, cancel, cancel the Vulcan part. If you're playing Arachne, do not build Golden Blade. There's no reason to. All you should build is movement, attack speed, and power. And I know it has movement, attack speed, and power, but <laughs> Golden Blade's passive is completely useless. All right, trust me. You don't want to try to enhance nothing when you could enhance something that's already strong to make it unstoppable. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. And uh, until next time, guys, peace.